Hello. This is gonna be, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess, uh, uh, a status update. Yes, a status update. So today, uh, I went to go see the apartment that I saw on Craigslist. It's on a fourth floor of a building very similar to this one, but the view of it is that of New York City and the Hudson River and the trees and natural water. It's amazing view. It's on a corner. And, but it's four flights of stairs and it's eleven hundred and fifty dollars a month uh, so it's pretty affordable and there they had a lot of furniture that basically the case was the previous tenant just bailed they didn't pay the last month for rent and left all the furniture and just disappeared uh, is it bad or good but they took all their stuff so they moved somewhere I guess. Um, so there are two two TVs there that I've interest in. A Samsung. The larger TV ranges online. I looked from two fifty dollars to one thousand dollars used, and I believe the guy said he's willing to sell it at fifty percent of whatever it is. But the problem is, it's probably it probably came from Walmart, because the models that I was working with, I wrote down the model numbers, they don't really exist on the internet, so they probably came from Walmart. Uh, so it's probably going to be shitty, and the smaller one ranges from ninety dollars to four hundred dollars, so I don't know. And then I also went to go see a house that I saw an advertisement for outside of my bank that was listed for rent for two thousand four hundred and fifty dollars it's a three bedroom you can technically say it's a two bedroom plus like a one bedroom because it's two floors of a house uh, the the third floor is almost like this huge huge studio it could be like a one bedroom apartment considered and then on the second floor there's two regular sized rooms a large living room uh, dining room, uh, an amazing kitchen, and a smaller room which could be used as a baby room or an office, plus a garage, which could be used as an office. It could be converted into an office. And that, that was my idea, is to convert the garage into an office, convince Oleg, Susie, and Janet to take that house, or take that house, take the first, the, the third floor room, plus the garage for myself, then find two roommates, and then split it three ways, which would be about eight hundred dollars, nine hundred dollars a month, which is pretty reasonable. This is this is like the average, about one thousand dollars a month is average for rent. is pretty reason reasonable, and this is cheaper. Plus, the guy is willing to rent it for twenty three hundred. Plus, it can even drop down lower if uh, somebody is able to do the landscaping and when it snows to to snow shovel because he has a professional that comes by and he has to pay money for that so there could be a rent deduction because of that so there are ways to negotiate because this person is very nice I met him I spoke to him for a while I think we couldn't I, I, I enjoy talking to him he's uh, he wasn't very interested in finding some asshole who would rent it he wanted to find like a cultured person that would understand that it's a nice place and you gotta keep it that way as opposed to it's just another dump or it's whatever oops I dropped the vase as opposed to oops I dropped the vase you get on your knees and you pick up every little piece of glass a little different different culture of people I guess because of the place you live in you, you gotta take care of the place you live in especially if, if it's was taken care of before you got there so you have to respect that so he owns that house and there's three other tenants two other tenants for somebody who lives on the first floor and in the basement is a tenant as well so it looks like a really nice place i really would it would be really cool if we could turn the office and i mean turn the garage into an office yeah he spoke he told me that legally you can actually do that which is awesome the problem is that we need a bathroom, so we need two additions. So I'm thinking in the back of my mind for practical reasons. 
uh, to maybe see if he could rent the garage to me separately and maybe go into a small investment where I would pay 50% of the cost to re renovate the garage a bit that would come out of my that would come out of my the rent that I would be paying for him but I'm not sure how much how, how long the renovation will take probably estimate maybe a good month or two to renovate well you gotta consider you gotta find the right people you gotta figure out what you want to do there so there's gonna be a lot of thought and uh, discussion with that but it was an idea it's a worthy idea because I don't think it would cost too much to renovate it I think no more than two thousand dollars to renovate the garage into an office and then have it deduct from what the rent would be uh, but that's still an idea that's open up in the air because he's not necessarily moving out uh, for another month or so but it's it's a beautiful home for the price I think it's 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 it's, it's a steal for the price all the space that's available there because it's 2500 square foot of space plus all these f f fancy amenities as opposed to it's about you get 800 square feet of space if you rent whatever for $900 so if you do the math for the square footage of space you come out ahead you come out actually saving money but the problem is renting isn't bad you should not be renting uh, you should be buying you should be because you save money by buying because the amount of money you spend renting adds up month to month year to year and at the end of the day you don't actually own anything as opposed to month to month year to year after a while we actually own it it belongs to you Plus, I have this another place to see tomorrow, but that's up in the air as well. But I don't know what to do about this first apartment. I was really excited at, it at first, but then another opportunity came up for me to check out. So I don't want to just... I don't want to jump on the first place I see that's reasonably priced and that's really cool for me and reasonable for me. Uh... It has to be like a smart decision, maybe. I don't know. Not maybe, or I don't know, but I think I've made the mistake that I would I was when I was talking to the person that I would take it immediately. Like within twenty four hours. So I'll call him tomorrow and I'll let him know about the prices of the TVs and give him an offer because I could use the TVs. I'm not sure what the, what my offer price would be. For both TVs I was thinking of offering because worst case scenario, uh, I could resell them. So I want to buy them just in case I don't need or a use for I don't need a use for them. Because I, I prefer not to have a television to watch TV. I would like to have a television to watch movies, like DVD movies. But not sit there and watch television like a zombie. Uh, so I don't know what my offer price would be. I think I'll offer him three hundred dollars for both TVs. No. I have to. I want to take a look at it because there, there's. I don't even know if there's anything wrong with them. Because there's no electricity in the home. I kind of assume they're functional, and they don't have any foreseeable problems. So I'll just offer him two hundred dollars for the, both TVs. Um, that's that. I met. Um, well, I started thinking about my hair a little bit more, and I got a contact. I have to clean uh, Charlie's uh, litter, and Charlie vomited, so I have to clean that. So. I got a number for a hairstylist who's, who seems to be a nice girl 
my first question to her was, what, are you an artist? And she answered that confidently, because I need somebody um, to fix up my hair. And in a long case scenario, long story short, she suggested to me that I let my hair grow out for two more months, so the, this side, the, the bottom of my hair, could get more length, because this is a problem that I have, it like does this. So if I let it grow out and then get myself, um, like, uh, I, I don't know all the words she used, but it's something that I, I'm going to meet with her again on Friday and see and talk to her a little bit more. Um, but it's something that we could, I think me and her could come up with a good idea on what to do. Plus, I need to find somebody who's going to be able to, I can go to once a week to get it fixed up, so to speak. Um, I made up my mind I want to have long hair and I want it to be as professional and unique as possible. Uh, <coughs> and the idea is to not have my hair done uh, by looking at a picture of somebody, but the idea is to eventually have a picture of myself in whatever, so people look at that and say, okay, I want that hair. So I need to do that, come up with that. And then I got another contact of a man who's a, this time he's a, he's a male, and he's a, I think he's a professional hairstylist. And and there's some conversation somebody told me he spent some years in Italy and he has this thing where he just puts his hand through the hair and it just becomes magic I don't know something like that a guy like that hmm. I'm not sure how comfortable I would feel of an older male because I have to feel comfortable as well but if he's truly hmm, creative I don't know so I have those two options because tomorrow I was planning to meet up with Kevin and take photographs uh, because I want to have some more photographs of myself I'll dress up, it'll be professional uh, I need to research where to go, some places locally within the district, have some nice photographs taken. But then I thought, why don't I reach out to the girl I met, her name is Kat, at the salon, and see if there's something that she could do, and see how interested is she in, I don't know, participating in my campaign as, as an official, somewhat semi-official worker, my hairstylist. That's an idea. Plus, it'll be cheaper for me, and she'll make more money if I don't have to go to the salon. The salon takes a cut and pays her. And if she could do this out of her own free time, kind of like the, who knows? Plus, her profession, her, her uh, skill and her profession grows with me. I grow, she grows, because she's, she's with me. And her professional network will grow. So it's a win-win situation for me and for her. Because there are going to be a few positions that are going to be technical in nature where uh, there won't be immediate reward. But in a long-term scope, if you have some sense of imagination, there would be immense amounts of reward. So that's, that's where I am with that. The hair, the photographs. I haven't heard back from Oliver. Maybe I should do a campaign progress instead of this. Yeah, maybe I'll mix both. Status update, campaign progress. Uh, I have some videos that I'm not sure if I should upload or maybe I might. It's just, it might be time consuming for me to upload. Of just some games I was playing on Congregate. Uh, multiplayer games that are available that I didn't really find uh, enjoyment out of. Oleg, like my friend, decided to quit smoking. So I'm gonna just be staying away from him. Mm. 
this weekend there might be a few events that I'll go to. Tomorrow's Friday. I mean, tomorrow's Thursday. I have to plan some things in my calendar. Sorry, one second. Uh, so I think that's that's all I really wanted to share or needed to share. I think that's it. Oh no, one more thing. I got in touch with Adnan. I reached out to Adnan, an old friend. He lives in Bosnia. Uh, well, he said to me he, he he's running his own hosting company, so I have to find out how... I, I know he got himself very... Uh, he became an expert in a few programming languages, but languages that... Uh, in applications and all that stuff, I'm not sure how... Uh, relevant any of it will be to me. Or if anything, I just I, I, I from time to time I try to follow up some of his work that he's been working on, but it's so technical that I don't even know what, what I'm looking at. So uh, I reached out to him to see if I could meet him on Skype and have a voice chat because because he did he asked me what I'm planning on doing exactly. So I'll run him with my ideas and see if he could be of any help or service to me. And that alleviates my problem of finding hosting in a different country outside of the United States. Because then it makes it almost impossible for anybody locally here from the state to strong arm any company or any individual because they have no they have no personnel in a different country and they have no understanding of a different country. Um, no, obviously the federal government can do whatever it wants to do, but I'm not so concerned about the federal government. I'm concerned about the local county and state government. Um, they would not even have the jurisdiction. I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Have a good day. Also, tip, life tip. Everything's negotiable in life. If you go to a store or you're trying to buy something, the price is whatever, everything's negotiable in life. And most things are at least. Um, I don't think you can negotiate at your grocery supermarket, but um, renting, buying things that are of value and people to people watering it's all negotiation and so everything's negotiable so keep that in mind in life 